Hey guys, welcome back for another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, we're in Illustrator again, this time with a tip for using the transform palette to help modify points and stuff, generally in text, but it could be in anything. Um, just recently I was working on a logo where I had to remove some serifs from a font, and this particular one is very obvious, so we're going to use this as the example. And it came to my attention, I guess, that maybe not a lot of people know to use the transform palette in instances like this. So let's say I wanted to remove this serif from the letter I here. Um, you could grab your pen tool and remove the point here. And that would seem to have removed the serif, but if you look close, there's a slight bit of an angle to that line. So if you were to click this point off as well, you may think that fixed it, but how do you know for sure? What you do is you use your white arrow to grab the very corner point there, and you'll see that its X coordinate is 146.536. And actually that might be too small for you to read, but that's what it says. And then if you went to the bottom point and selected that point, you would see in your transform palette that they're not the exact same X and X being left to right, Y being up and down. So knowing that, we know that this isn't actually a straight line even though it may look like it is. So you can use your transform palette to easily just copy out your number from your X field here, select your bottom one and paste it there and now you know that this line is perfectly straight because it's mathematically straight. You can of course highlight both points and use your align palette as well, but the reason I would say to bring up your transform palette just to be sure is because on a letter, say you have a, a dot above your eye here, this way you would know that this point here lines up with this point here. Um, you can use this method for aligning anything. I know a lot of times when I'm working with it's generally logos but um, any sort of illustration when you start modifying type which happens a lot in logos since uh, you need to line things up that might not necessarily have been that way to begin with. So like if we had some other type like this um, and say you wanted to chunk out this part of the T here, you could um, again use your arrow to subtract out the points. Um, and since this is Gotham it's probably going to be exact, but um, <clears throat> if you wanted to make a piece stick out the other side that's exactly the same width, again you can use your values here to do some simple math if you th pop open your calculator and you can see that if this point here is 141.904 and this point here is 137.964 if you were to subtract those that would give you the distance from here to here and that way you could make that's not showing up you could make uh, a block for measurement and know that it's exactly the same width there and then you could use that for you know spacing your kerning exactly between each letter or <clears throat> any such instance so a lot of people use the align palette to simply align things here and there but without ever actually knowing what those values are so by using your transform palette you can be mathematically sure that everything you're doing is uh, spaced exactly how you want it and it's also very handy for when you start modifying fonts and doing things like moving this and say you wanted that to be an exact 45 degree angle or you know changing serifs slightly um, and say you wanted to apply this same sort of difference of you would just subtract the Y values here to determine what that angle is and then you could apply that to all the serifs across the rest of your text so that they're all mathematically the same. So if you're not using your transform palette for things like that, I might suggest you get in the habit of doing it. It's very handy. 
Uh, Fears isn't up by default. It is under Window, Transform. Uh, and that's kind of it. If you have any questions about how to use it more in depth, just let me know. There will be a link down below to ask me questions off of my website. Or if you're asking on Twitter, refer to this one as I, I think, O2, and I don't know which one you're talking about. Hope it was helpful.